Good morning children. Today we shall learn about the magnet. What exactly is a magnet? Any material that can attract iron is a magnet. So how was magnet discovered? You know there is an interesting story behind how magnet was discovered. Long time ago a Greek shepherd boy named Magnus used to take his ship to the nearby mountain for grazing. He used to carry a stick with an iron cap. One day he was sitting on a rock and when he got up he found that his stick got stuck to a black rock. That rock had the ability to attract iron and was named magnetite. Thus, magnet was discovered for the first time. A magnet attracts few other substances other than iron. Let us find out those. Would a wooden stick be attracted towards a magnet? No. How about a wooden duster? No. A nickel ring? Yes, it gets attracted. A steel mug? That too gets attracted. A plastic clip? No. How about a wire of copper? That too isn't attracted towards the magnet. So we see few substances get attracted towards the magnet while Others don't. The substances that get attracted by magnet are called magnetic substances like iron, nickel, cobalt, steel, etc. And other substances that do not get attracted by magnet are called non magnetic substances like the plastic, the wood, and glass. The attracting property of magnet appears magical if we don't understand what a magnet is. As we saw in the story, the crook pretending to have magical or healing power used magnets only to cheat the simple villagers. It was magnet only which the crook used to find the lost metallic flute in the mountains. Even the most of the tricks performed by the crook pretending to be a guru made use of magnets only. How was he able to move the iron stick towards himself? He attached strong magnets to his bracelets which attracted the iron stick towards himself. And how was the metallic pot shaking which scared the villagers? You know, by waving his hands, the strong magnets attached to his bracelets attracted the pot towards himself, hence the pot shook. Let's have fun with the magnets. It is really fun to see a magnet attracting steel pins. Normally, we would think that the most of the pins will be attracted towards the center. But this is not true. Hey, what is this? Why most of the pins are going towards the two ends of the magnet? Why is the middle of the magnet not attracting most of the pins? There is nothing wrong with this magnet. Most of the attracting power of a magnet is located near the two ends. These two ends are known as the magnetic poles. So we see magnets have two poles. One is called North Pole and the other is called South Pole. What are these North and South Poles? Let us find it out. We often read in stories and even watch in movies that kids get lost in jungle but eventually they get back home safely using a simple device to find the direction. And that device is the compass. If you observe the compass closely, you won't find any cell or battery or any complex machine parts for running that compass. Just a simple needle which points north and south direction. Do you know how a simple needle was pointing the directions? That needle isn't ordinary. It is a magnet. Now let us understand how does a small magnet can tell us the direction in the compass. 
if you suspend a magnet from a string one end of the magnet will tell you which is the north direction that end is the north pole of the magnet the other end will show you the south that end is the south pole of the magnet well all the magnets have the simple property which can help us to find the direction so just a simple magnet can also serve the purpose of compass by hanging it amazing isn't it now you know why the magnets two ends are called the north pole and the south pole as they point towards the north and the south direction so the magnets always attract magnetic substances this means the magnets should also attract each other isn't it let us find it out here we take the north pole of a magnet near the north pole of the magnet in the compass look the north pole of the magnet in the compass moves away let us do it again again it moves away now let us take the south pole of the magnet near the north pole of the magnet in the compass hey what is this poles are attracting each other not moving away what do we find think think so let me make it simple for you the opposite poles of the magnets attract each other that is the north pole of one magnet will attract the south pole of the other magnet but the same pole of the two magnets repels each other that is the north pole of one magnet will repel the north pole of the other magnet now let us solve a puzzle if there are two iron bars one is a magnet and other is just a simple iron piece how do we find out which one is a magnet let us take an extra magnet we call it a tester magnet using this tester magnet how will we find out which one of these two iron bar is a magnet think think we know magnets can repulse each other so if we bring the north pole of the tester magnet near the two ends of the both the iron bars one by one we will see the tester magnet will attract both the ends of the simple iron piece only there would be no repulsion but with the other iron bar we will find some repulsion in one of the ends of the tester magnet this is because the north pole of the tester magnet will repel the north pole of the iron bar magnet so repulsion is the best way to recognize a magnet are the magnets more for fun or do they have more uses other than in a compass well other than a compass a magnet is used in many things you must have seen the pencil box with magnetic lid or the magnetic sticker that people stick on the refrigerator or almira powerful magnets are used to pull heavy metal weights in the factories magnets are used in motors generators too magnets are highly used to make speaker in tv radio sound box etc so we should be thankful to magnet whenever we are listening to a favorite song to sum up what we understood today magnets only attract magnetic substances like iron nickel cobalt etc if you suspend a magnet using thread one end facing north is the north pole the other end facing south is the south pole most of the power is located near the two poles of the magnet that is north and the south poles the opposite poles of the two magnet attract each other but the same poles of the two magnet repulse each other lastly magnets have many uses in our lives that's all for today bye bye kids